So have you ever wondered what the differences are between a data engineer, a data analyst, and a data scientist is? Wondering what skills are needed, what types of things they're doing? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to be going through all of that today. Hi, my name is May. I'm a data science recruiter. and Welcome to another edition of Math and Magicians. Now, a data scientist is only as good as the data they have access to which is a nice segue into the importance of a data engineer. Now, I really like this quote because it really breaks down the differences between both of them. And whilst a scientist can discover a new star, he can't make one. He would have to ask an engineer to do it for him. And that really ties in quite well into the importance of the data engineer as being the foundation of anything we're going to do in data science. So data engineers are typically responsible for organizing the storage systems and warehouses where these data sets are kept in. They're responsible for transforming the data into a form that's more usable for the data scientists and analysts. They're responsible for building the pipelines to ingest the data successfully, um, cleanse the data and put it in a form that's more useful for the end user being the data scientist or the analyst. Now, the typical skills for a data engineer uh, cover areas such as distributed systems knowledge or architecturing of data warehouses and storage points to even being able to work collaboratively with the data scientists, being able to pull different types and sources of data, transform it into a form that's useful for them to basically do analysis on. The types of technologies they're typically working is anything from big data frameworks such as Hadoop, which is more of a Java code line, to Spark, which uses more of a Scala code line, and then of course things like cloud computing platforms like AWS. They are dealing with large amounts of data, they're being able to control it, scale it for production, so many people can have access to it in a distributed way efficiently, and that they can query these databases in an efficient manner that's fast and effective for them to analyze. They typically come from very strong computer science, software engineering backgrounds. So they have fantastic understanding and knowledge of data structures and algorithms of distributed systems and how to engineer them. They're also typically are sort of, you know, I would see them as three potential types of data engineers. You have a more generalist data engineer, which you might find in a startup wearing multiple hats. They might even be doing some of the analysis. They might even be doing some of the roles that data scientists will be doing. They're typically not as focused on the distributed systems element of data engineering. Whereas in a medium-sized company, that's sort of more important, that knowledge and experience is so that they are more sort of pipeline-centric and focused on how to basically ingest the data and make it available. And then you have the, the more larger firms where you're looking at a data engineer that's more database centric, that's really looking at the architecture of how the data is stored, how you know it's made available to lots more data analysts in the company, and that they can have access to the data in a format that's usable, that's easy to query so that they can do their own analysis and an analytics upon the data sets themselves. In terms of salary expectations, if we control for the New York location, you know, you could be looking at anything from 100 to $150,000. Now, bear in mind when I speak in terms of salary, I'm not talking about senior uh, managerial roles. I'm really only focused on individual contributor level type of roles. And also, I'm not controlling for the variability with different types of industries, like the finance industry might pay more than the retail industry, for example. But that is like an average band that you can typically expect for data engineers. The one thing I would say about data engineers is that you typically need more than one engineer for every data scientist that you hire. So you'd need anything from two to four data engineers, depending on the context and the industry that you're in. And therefore, it is a very sort of like, you know, sought after role that people are requiring more and more. It's an important role. It's fundamental to doing any sort of data analysis or data science work, um, and it's growing in demand as well. Now, a data analyst, on the other hand, is more interested in mining the data sets that have been made available to them. They're interested in curating the patterns, the insight, and being able to deliver this in business intelligence reports, for example. They are typically you know, quite analytical in their approach. Um, they don't necessarily 
always have a very strong statistical background. They're doing more analytics with software tools such as SAS. Um, they're even using things like R, things like Tableau, for example, to help them really visualize the patterns in the data. And they're doing often descriptive analytics to say, why has this happened? We saw that you know sales increased by this much over the Christmas period when we introduced these colors to the aisle, for example. It could be something as simple as that or more complex, but they're looking to see what insight can be drawn from the data as it presents itself um, from a descriptive or perhaps uh, you know, predictive perspective as well. Now, salary bands for data analysts are typically anything from 60,000 for an entry level person and can go up to about 160,000. Again, these are just individual contributor roles. It really can vary. I've seen data analysts use even more basic tools and not necessarily something very complicated like a SaaS application, for example. So it really can vary and you will typically tend to get lots more data analysts than you would data scientists. And people often get both confused, but they're not the same. Data analysts are really just curating the data, they're mining the data, and they're basically reporting what they can see in the data. And that's what they do that makes them different from the engineer that's actually building the data pipelines to allow you to be able to query the data. Now, a data scientist, on the other hand, the key thing you need to remember is a data scientist, although they can typically do what the data analyst is doing, the real difference is they are building predictive models. And they're often doing this using advanced programming languages, not just things like SQL or Tableau. They're using things like Python, things like R to really build predictive models to draw insight from, to help advise and make decisions for the future for the company. They're really trying to do analysis around what will be optimal. They're doing things like A-B cluster, you know, sampling of audiences. If we do this here, what do we predict will happen when we use this model? What do we predict will happen when we use the other model? And then, then trying to make business decisions, drawing insight from their analysis to help advise the business on strategy and decision making. Now, obviously, a data scientist career isn't really an entry level career per se, even though you often hear the term junior data scientist. It's a career that you arrive to with either, you know, advanced degrees or substantial experience in the area. And so the typical salary band, if we control for the New York location, for example, is anything from 120,000. That can go right up to anything at around 250,000, for example, or even half a million on total come for someone that has at least seven plus years experience and poss possibly, potentially, probably a PhD as well. So, you know, and then when you get to that level where you're doing high impact work, very C level facing as well, you know, there's a lot more that can happen, especially with a very well funded startup, the equity potential there could be different, etc. So, you know, if we had to, you know, look at it holistically, the data scientist, as opposed to the data analyst, is really trying to build predictive models using advanced programming languages to help the business with insight. Now, if you asked which career should I go for, data engineering, data analyst, data scientist, it really depends on your skill set and it also depends on your interest as well. I would definitely say that all three options provide very, very profitable, you know, and sustainable demand for job opportunities now and for the future. I think the growth will only continue as we get more and more data. I think also that if you're looking at the data engineering role, you would really ideally want to be coming from a strong computer science background. You would be very much suited to that. Whereas a data analyst, if you're not going to do the advanced programming to be able to build the predictive models, you kind of want to focus on learning your analytics skills and your analytics tools like SQL, Tableau, and those types of things. Whereas if you're very excited by the prospect of using these advanced programming languages to build predictive models, and you really want to be at that point of impact to really help drive the decision making for the future of a business, then a data scientist role is probably more suited to your skills and your interests.
So I hope you enjoyed my video today on the difference between a data engineer, a data analyst, and a data scientist. If you would like more insight about roles within the data science world, please drop your comments below and let me know what your thoughts are on this and what you'd like to learn more about. Please like, subscribe, and follow, and I'll see you on the next episode of Mathemagicians.